Welcome back to Flashpoint. Joining us now, the new chair of the North Carolina Democratic Party, Dr. Bobby Richardson. By the way, she's the first African-American woman to chair the state's Democratic Party. Uh, Dr. R Richardson, thanks for coming on and joining us. We appreciate it, and congratulations on, on the new uh, job title. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Tell me, what is, uh, you've got a big job now, um, especially in what's considered to be a, a purple state by many. Um, what, is, what is your priority? My priorities are to build on what the Democratic Party has already succeeded at. We are so grateful that 2016 gave us the Governor uh, Cooper leadership. In 2018, we uh, fought back the supermajority in 2020 we continue to have the governor's race and want, we won the governor's race and we continue to fight back the supermajority we want to build on that and we want to make sure that we win the senate uh, race by making sure that we have the infrastructure in place to support our candidates and also that we have volunteers in place to uh, carry out the work of the get out the vote f but we are concerned about the fact that we were not able to do voter registration and education to the extent that we would have normally done in an election year because of the uh, pandemic. And so we will uh, have an aggressive uh, voter education drive, voter uh, registration drive, and also we will have a better communication with our rural counties. We do well with uh, urban counties because they're right there, kind of uh, niched right under us. But we are going to have a 100 county strategy where we focus our efforts on each region, listen to those regions, and then build a strategic plan based on what the people in those regions say they need, rather than we trying to uh, guess what they need. We plan to have regional organizers so that we can build relationships and have people on the ground and from the community that know the community and will be able to engage the citizens of that community. The, the thing is, already as okay. it stands right now, uh, Democrats outnumber Republicans by a few hundred thousand in North Carolina. Unaffiliated voters outnumber Republicans um, by uh, uh, quite a bit. Why are Democrats already performing better um, than they currently are? Well, you know what? If I had the answer to that, um, I would really be um, just kind of like a halo on my head. But I think the effort in 2020 was the fact that we did not have the face-to-face -face and um, we didn't, we're not able to go into the communities and talk to the voters. And we always know that there are some voters who are going to split the ticket or either not vote all the way down the ticket. The, um, uh, what we call the down ballot ticket. And a lot of voters vote for the president and uh, the governor and then choose not to. So those are the answers that we are looking for as well. And the only way we're gonna find find those answers, uh, uh, find answers to that question is to engage our voters, talk to our voters, and help our voters understand why it is important to vote in every election. I want to get you on the record about this. Um, when it comes to uh, getting students back in the classroom and getting teachers back in the classroom, at this point, we know a year into this thing, uh, classrooms are one of the safer places um, uh, because it doesn't seem that this virus transmits uh, among students like it does uh, adult populations. Should students be back in the classroom at this time, full in person? You know, I am of the opinion that there are people who know the answer to that better than I, and I know our governor does not, um, is not ready for that because we do not have the infrastructure in place yet. Our uh, experts are still uh, some uh, not totally in agreement on it, and as an educator and as um, knowing just how uh, involved students become. It's very difficult to teach students 
just sitting still and being isolated. There's uh, group activities, there are projects to work on, there's cafeteria to worry about, there's bathroom to worry about. So I think I'm going to leave that decision to the governor and the experts that are studying it. Dr. Bobby Richardson. Doctor, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.